fucking post over here. I'm pretty sure I can't afford it, but can I sell? Oh, I can sell. But I wouldn't make very much from it. Boo. Wait, joggers? Do I have those on right now? Did I find some rare equipment? Oh, I did. Oh, I got that out of the, uh, the chest for the inhibitor. Hmm. What does it look like? Can I take off this suit without being at a... I don't know what I look like otherwise. I'm going to have to, like, go t turn it off and see what I actually look like. They got all sorts of weird gadgets salvaged from remote places in the city. Oh, it shows their health? Like, I can fight them? Wait, who's gone? Do you need help? Oh, no, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. But there's nothing to be done here. But why... Who did you lose? My fish. My precious fish. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like to keep fish when water is so hard to come by? But they were my friends. My teachers. Why would you sacrifice water for fish? <clears throat> but why not? Because water is expensive. It's a rare commodity. <sighs> oh, I know that. I had to give away almost all I had. My supplies, the flour, and my father's weapons. But they can't survive without the water, of course. And out there in the world, who knows? How many fish are left? <clears throat> Most water has been polluted. Oh, all the dead fish I have seen floating belly up. Such a sad sight. I mean, if you found a huge clean pond and everything else was polluted, it would be nice to have some fish. That way you could have fish to eat later. <laughs> Assuming that you had, you know, a male and female to, uh, populate. People die of thirst all the time these days. Keeping fish seems to me like a luxury this world can't afford. Oh. <clears throat> well. The clock in the bottom right? I know it's hard to understand. For me, we can't afford to live in a world without fish. I don't like being in the way of things. Oh, there is a there is a clock in the bottom right. Uh, my uh my mic arm was actually like in the way of it. I didn't see that. It's in the very bottom right. Okay, cool. And what what's this guy? My fish. My precious fish. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like to keep fish when water is so hard to come? What by? was the quest? But uh, they were my why would you suck? <clears throat> but because. But okay, we saw that part. Why are fish so important to you? <clears throat> Can I ask you a question in return? Why is this weapon so All right, important Chili. to you? I needed to protect myself. Yeah. And to survive. Ah. <laughs> you see, it's all so subjective. Isn't it? What's necessary? What's not? <coughs> For me, fish are fundamental to existence. Fish teach you everything you need to know about life. <laughs> everything we need to know about life. And so you said, uh, we'll hear sirens an hour before dusk, and then you got like 30 minutes or an hour after dusk tonight. Also, uh, I've noticed in this one that music ramps up right before nighttime hits. Like, it starts really quiet, and then it gets louder. And now I'm curious, where are your fish? Unfortunately, like I said, 
my fish are not with us anymore. And they're gone. What happened? Uh, <clears throat> someone ate them. Someone ate them. Wait, wait, someone ate your fish? Someone broke into my home and ate all of my fish. Then he drank all the water. Wow. The water you sacrificed so much for. Who? Tell me. Want me to go after him? Uh, nah, forget about it. I think I know who it was. I saw discarded fish bones in front of his place. Uh, but um, and let's forget about it. What? You don't want revenge? He ate your fish. <sighs> One of the many things fish teach you, as I mentioned, is patience and accepting what fate brings you. <sighs> Once you watch them for a while, just swimming in their tank, they don't question where they are. They don't complain that the tank is too small. They just are. Wait. Wait, what? So, so, so let me get this straight. You spent everything on the water for your fish, then someone ate your fish and drank that water, and yet you're not angry? Oh, I was angry. But what does anger do for me? It causes nothing but negativity and remorse. <coughs> Maybe one day we'll fish in rivers and oceans again. Fishing. Ah, yes. <laughs> Fishing can also teach you a lot about life. You sound like some kind of fish monk. <laughs> oh, I'm poor as a monk now. That is for sure. Farewell, my friend. I'm sorry you can't learn anything from my fish. What just happened? What? <laughs> Starvos's old fishing bait. What is that? Is it useful or do I just sell it? People always said Stavros <laughs> had the best bait. Excuse me. I don't, I don't know what to do with those. Like, do I sell them? Check out the stalls. They've got all sorts of weird gadgets salvaged from remote places in the city. Like, are those are those purples just uh, are they just are they just for selling? Because if so, man, I'll get me some I'll get me some gear. I don't know if these are used for anything. You know what? I'll 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 hold on to them until I know for sure. Until I know for sure. Oh wait, they're just money as far as you can see in your run. They got some lore on them sometimes, but yeah, mostly money. Ooh. There is one thing I'm gonna keep though. At the very least, if I sell everything else, I'm going to keep the white crystal core for a while because it's kind of weird. I don't know if I actually am I supposed to sell that? It's only shown as uh, common. You know, I'm just going to sell it. I am going to read them first, though. With the majority of the population dead, knowledge about the workings of some machinery and fabrication methods has all but died out. This, the precious instructions contained within these manuals are crucial for preserving pre-outbreak technology. All right. MRE rations. I mean, I guess my character doesn't need to eat. For some reason, I feel like these things are going to be used for something, though. Like, I, I don't know why I think that. I, I don't remember if they were used for anything in the first one. Oh, it's like post-apocalypse money. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's see if there's anything else here. What is that? Tape. We always need tape. 
Okay, so... What's that? What's happening he has here? His special blend of poison for every pest and his very own MO for disinfection. He was proud of that. One day, some shady guy offered a small fortune to eradicate a problem in muddy grounds. The client made a big deal about disinfecting the place afterwards, even provided special chemicals for it. That was unusual, but my dad didn't flinch. The money was good, and we needed it. The first day he forgot his lunch, I took it to the apartment, a high-end condominium north of Polar Avenue. In front of the building were four men wearing hazmats in a van. I hid in some bushes nearby. Dude, I would have run. Suddenly, Dad storms out of the building. The men grab him, trying to force him in the van. He hey, hey, Wadney, how are you? In and, he's yelling, I won't do it. I won't deal and I can listen to the tapes? Ooh, yes. And slam the door. I run up to listen. Get back in there and decontaminate the whole house. Clean as a fucking whistle. You know, we kill your family. He went back in. I hid in the bushes for eight hours, almost pissed myself. Finally, he came back out. One dude escorting him and two others carrying what looked like um, a dead body. They loaded it in the van and they took off. At home, my dad pushed me up against a wall, told me he saw me and to never talk about that day. He was dead within a week. Inhaled industrial cleaner in an unventilated room. This became my personal crusade. I gave up everything else, even when news of the THB pandemic broke a month later. I became obsessed with finding out who these people were. Eventually, I dug up a former GRE employee who was willing to talk. About what? The origins of the outbreak. The incident at the lab in Geneva. The initial spread of the infection and the cover-ups. My dad was part of that. There is so much lore in this game. Because of his rep. Him being the best and all. Nope. It's just that he was a one-man crew. Easier cleanup. The man in the house was patient zero. This was six weeks before the THB outbreak became public. The rats banished him. I only got away because they were too busy covering up the rest. Six weeks before? Jeez. If people had known then, that could have saved everybody. Yeah. And the guys responsible are here somewhere. And when I find them, they'll wish the infection had found them instead of me. Dang. Okay, yeah, that's heavy stuff. Is, is there a way for me to, like, turn on subtitles for this, this kind of thing? Because that would be great for everyone. I don't know if there is, though. Yeah, so far, Wadney, I'm loving the game. Like... I, I mean, I'm, I'm digging it. It's already scared the pejesus out of me, along with uh, viewers here. Um, got got me real good. Um, wait, can I? I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to leave it on TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... I don't know if I can turn subtitles on for everything. It doesn't look like it, though. Yeah, not everyone's going to agree on one of these games. Uh, but, I mean, 
I'm getting more dying light. That's all I can really ask for, you know? Like, so far... So far, the stuff that makes dying light one dying light has been improved on here, so... Um, I'll, I'll be interested to see how the story plays out. And it, it, as long as it keeps me interested and, and involved, I really don't mind, like, if it's not perfect. Someone's in trouble. Let's go save them. Or uh, let's go try to save them. If it's a big bad boy beating them up, then I, I don't I don't know what to say. What? Oh, you were a thief? Or am I supposed to help you? Nope, I guess not. Or wait, maybe I am I supposed to save him? I don't know anymore. I, it looks like he killed somebody. Does blue mean you have to save him? I'm so confused. You know what? You're gonna die now. You gave me my loot. He shanked someone, I shanked him. You know, it's, you know, the world goes round. Okay, so we finally got another point. Interesting. Oh, I don't know. Both of these are important. This one will help me survive gravity because gravity, me, me and gravity get along real well. Interesting. I think I'm going to go with the grip one first, though. Yeah, I'm going to die to both equally. That's why it was a hard choice. Like, honestly, I want the second point of the jump one. And that's why I should have taken that. But um, I'm going to need both equally. You're right. I meant to buy all three of these earlier. I need all of the healing potions. Okay, I have 568. I don't think that's enough to buy a piece of armor. I think those are a lot expense, a lot more expensive. Okay, so it's 1250 in the game right now. Where? Wait, where's my marker? There it is. Let's go to our next marker and at least get that like unlocked. Oops. I thought I made it. I thought I made that jump. I did not. Oh, God. Okay. Come on. Climb, Aiden. Yeah. 
Oh, you can hold C while in shop to sell valuables? No, I didn't see that. Thanks for letting me know. Um. Oh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I apologize. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. No, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I apologize. I thought they were zombies, man. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, the... Oh. The, the reason that I bought those is because I'm out of them. Like, I, I don't... Well, okay, so the reason I bought them is because I'm out of uh, honey. And I, I needed... Wait, and you know what? Speaking of which, I don't even have them on my bar right now. There we go. Dude, I think I made them all mad. I didn't mean it. Mistakes were made. I, I realize that now. Ooh, metro station? That looks scary. can hold it down that's so much more convenient now i understand why it wasn't working the way i thought it was earlier chili park i really appreciate you right now you just saved me a lot of headache can i climb this probably not So one through four, you can hold down, and it uh, gives you radial menus, at, menus after that. Check, check. Out of water. That is unfortunate. They really want me to help this guy. All right. What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then retractable <laughs> dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then I hit it. Our goats, they're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence. 
energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. <laughs> it's it's just funny that he made underwater reading glasses, but like we saw multiple signs on the way in that said out of water. So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case, you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic! Heaven must have sent you. Here. Do I really have the parts? I'm a little bit shocked. I'm a little bit shocked. I don't know how really. To thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen then, near the wall. I am honestly surprised. That I had the parts. Like, I was like sure it was gonna take something I didn't have. Bill, how's New Paris holding up? I have a cousin there. They keep, they, everyone has a cousin in New Paris. It's okay though. Ooh, craft masters. Allow you to buy and upgrade blueprints. Upgrading blueprints makes the items you create from them more powerful. To upgrade a blueprint, bring the required items to a craft master and exchange them for blueprint upgrades. Items used for blueprint upgrades can be looted from special infected, which are easier to find at night and are marked on your map with the in a, a special icon. I, I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain that. A UV bar, unique throwable, endurance booster, we got some special ammunition. I don't have a ranged weapon yet. <laughs> Pardon me. Mods, which could be nice. Damage per second. Ooh, we like damage per second. You slap something and then you run around in circles. <laughs> Fire and poison are always really good. I guess I'll buy both. I guess I should have looked at upgrades first, though. Well, oh, I've got I've got enough uh, trophies. Rowing knives. Eat. Oh. Wait, do I not? Oh, okay. I was clicking the wrong button. So I'm I'm really happy that we upgraded the uh, the medicine because strictly because of the fact that it takes forever, and that should lower the time on it. Ooh, 
Ooh, these blue ones have some modify slots. That is what is up. Ah, uh, there we go. Bye-bye. Okay, cool. 